Hey guys, welcome back to my channel this evening. I am very, very excited to show you this brand new brand that I've got in at Zara May Boutique. This is called the Grey Fox Company and they make amazing quality nappy bags and I was very lucky to be able to establish a relationship with them and get these over here in Australia to represent through Zara May Boutique. So I wanted to share with you guys how I packed this up today as well as go over some of the features of the bag because this is a very brand new um, style that a lot of people in Australia aren't familiar with and I just want to showcase this awesome awesome brand. So as I mentioned this is a vegan leather so but it is the nicest vegan leather that I've come across in a while. Very similar to the fawn design I want to say very supple it looks awesome. This is in the awesome. This is in the A color. They also have a pebble and a black. I forget what the black one's called, but I do have the pebble and the acorn one in stock at the moment. So I chose this particular one because I just love this brown. It's a very rich, just a lovely, lovely brown color. So and it does have gold hardware. And unfortunately, this bag does not come with the change pad, uh, but it it has some amazing features. So to me, that kind of makes up for it. Plus, a lot of people already have change pads of their own, so I don't think that's a game changer for a lot of people. The bag does come with a messenger strap as well. Now, this is a seat belt messenger strap with gold hardware clips, which are really nice quality hardware, and the clips are easy to open and close. It has gold adjusters and a little. Um, vegan leather shoulder pad which is really nice so this bag can be worn I guess three different ways you've got D-rings on the side here so it can be worn messenger style over the shoulder and you also have some really really nice backpack straps as well which I'll show you here in a moment so there aren't any feet on the bottom of the bag I'll just go around to the back and I can show you the backpack straps these are memory foam um, Vegan leather coated on this side, very nicely stitched, attaches to the side here, adjustable with some gold sliders here, metal sliders, and a nice grab handle at the top. So I actually wore this today, packed up for my two-year-old, and it was very, very comfortable. It is a rectangular shape, but because it's kind of a longer uh, rectangle like this way, it sat better on my back than some of the boxier bags. So that's just my opinion as far as that goes. So the way I have it packed up today is actually for a younger baby plus maybe a sibling because I figured that's what a lot of people are going to be wondering about and I had to hunt down a lot of items because you know Clara is two now but I think I have in here uh, maybe what you would take if you have those kind of age children. So it is packed pretty full. I was amazed how much I could fit in here and I just love a lot of the features on here so I wanted to share that with you guys. So first of all, I do have a fob on here, and this is by a very good friend of mine, uh, Rebecca. She makes these now, and she's got an Etsy page, and her brand is Get Fobbed, which is really cute. So this is Donatella. This is Toki Doki character, and I just think she looks awesome with the brown here. So I put her on there today just to add a bit of funk to the bag. There is a clip close slip pocket here, which is kind of nice. First of all, before that, you've got the nice gold plated gray fox label right there and then you've got this slip pocket in here I've got my iPhone 10 so that's a really nice spot for your phone and I guess we'll go over the bottle pockets next these are zip insulated bottle pockets and these are awesome 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 you've got two zipper pulls so you can either open it in on either side and they are a decent size and they're very well insulated I have a Contiga um, drink cup in the other bottle pocket and I, that's what I took today and it kept it cool like all day the whole time we were out this morning probably from about 8 till about 11 so it's like three hours and I came home and it was still nice and cool so in this side I have just a thermos fontana just to show you kind of how big it is now it's a bottle and that fit in there because there is a bit of room up the top here so it is a nice bottle pocket and the zippers on this are really nice you can you can just hear it so smooth so you can eat because it's got two zipper pulls, you can e open it either way, so you're not fighting to find the zipper, which is nice. So in that side, I had the Fontana, and in this side, I've got the Contigo water bottle. And as you can see, that fits well in there. So it just gives you an idea of those, what can fit in those pockets. Okay, on the back of the bag here, this is kind of nifty. So I'll just kind of pop these backpack straps back like this. 
and you have a zip compartment just up here and I actually use this compartment for my nappy or diaper knees. I don't know if that's what it's for but that's what I used it for because you zip it open, really nice zipper and inside here there's actually a slip separator in the middle here so you can put some things on one side separated from the other side so what I actually did is I put a change pad like a full-on memory foam change pad this is from a X of uh, Jujube hatch and that fit in there so it just shows you any uh, Jujube fans that you can put a full change pad in there on one side of the slip pocket divider in there and then on the other side I had all I have all my nappy needs so I do have some size 5 nappies in here but you could easily put like three or four probably newborn or smaller nappies in there so I've got the two here just popped right in and then next to that I've got a jujube be dry so in case you are you know if you've got a younger baby and you need to put dirty clothes or whatever in there then you can easily fit that folded up next to the nappy needs let's see if I can give you a view inside there now that it's empty so it's kind of hard to there we go so there's the separator there. So it is kind of cool. I thought that was nice because it's, it's, you know, away from the rest of the bag. Now the way that this front section works is you do have a section at the top here that zips open with two zipper pulls. There's two zipper pulls everywhere, so which is really nice. And here is where I kept just quick access items. So I do have a, my daughter's lovey on top here. This is just a Taggy's blanket. Then I have my Colorado wallet and then there's two little elastic pockets here and one I have my keys right here and then the other I have a teething necklace so if you've got a little baby and you want to get you bring a teether along that would fit in there too but this is just what I happen to have and these are itsy ritzy silicon necklaces and I do sell these at Zara May Boutique this is the one I grabbed out and I wear as a necklace myself because I just think it's so pretty and my daughter loves these even at two because they're silicon and they're nice, you know, they a nice check texture and the colors are pretty. She's even reaching for them now. She sees them on me. So that was in this little pocket here. And then this, there's a zipper pocket at the top here. And in here, I just have a Toki Doki coin purse with my lipstick stuff and then a packet of mints. So there's a good kind of view into that pocket there. It's an interesting pocket, but I found that was the best way to kind of pack it up for me because it's very easy to get to my wallet and everything in there. Okay, now the rest of the things in the bag are in this section here. Again, you have two zipper pulls, so I'll just open on one side and open on the other. And it is gusseted. Now, this is very much reminds me of a Jujube BFF, kind of, because you've got similar pockets inside here. But what I popped in here, so if you're, if you have a younger baby and you're breastfeeding, even bottle feeding, and you want to take along a nursing scarf, this is the Baby Olay Unikiki nursing scarf, which I normally keep, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Uh, but this is really, really nice. So that's in there. And then I also have a rolled up a nice Aiden and nice swaddle blanket. And before I go any further, there is a zip pocket right here in the front here. And in here, I actually have a wipe pouch 30. And then I've got a mini wipe pouch with antibacterial wipes and a packet of tissues. So that fits a lot in that pocket right there. And this is nice wipeable material. Same with the outside. It just anything wipes off of it. It's really, really nice that way. So the first two things I have in the middle is I have a medium set piece by Jujube and Sushi Cars. And here is a change of clothes. So you could put, this is, these are size three clothes but you could easily put a whole bunch of newborn or baby clothes into the medium set piece that's what a lot of people take then I also have a quick did you be quick in here and in this I have all my snack bags so I've got like four different itsy ritzy snack bags which I also carry at Zara Movie Teak um, but I thought this would be kind of a neat thing to show you that it actually does fit standing up and because a lot of people put all sorts of things in their quicks they could put you could put um Diapering needs, if you wanted to put that in the bag instead of in the back. You could also put snacks like I have, or medical stuff, or toys, or all sorts of things. So I just want to show that that actually did fit standing up in there. So in this little side here, I have a 
small be organized with tegu blocks so this would be for older children then i also have tucked in the corner here a play pack play and go play um play pack which i actually got from amazon any aussie mums so that you can get them posted over here these are really nifty my daughter loved this today and then the organization in the bag, I guess it's kind of hard to see. I know it looks dark in there, but honestly, when you're using it, it's not, and it's right next to you, it is not hard to see in here at all. It's just kind of hard to film. All right, so you've got two slip pockets here and then a long zipper at the back there behind those. So in the one over here on the right, I've got a Baby Olay wet bag. Also, stockets are maybe deep. And this is the wet section. Now this is for if you take bibs or uh, I guess like burp cloths because in the front here I have a burp cloth and a bib so if you're using those and the baby spits up on them and you don't want to put them back in the nice you know dry section you stick them in here in the wet section and you're good to go and you can wash it when you get home so that was in that slip pocket there and then in this slip pocket here I've got a small set piece which I have my mommy and make it needs. Now if you want to take medical stuff you could put that into a small set piece. And I just have a combo of things. I am not one of those mums that takes all the make it stuff but then again I don't go a whole bunch of places for very long. And then of course I've got my hand sanitizer next to that too. I love pockets that fit both of these items next to each other which these do without any problem at all. And then in this long zipper back here I have a little uh, coin purse with some disposable baggies in there and also a, another coin purse with a hairbrush, hair ties and hair clips. So that's everything in my grey fox nappy bag. I am really enjoying this bag. I just love the quality of it uh, and it's, it's just really well thought out and really well made and it's hard to find bags like that these days that just kind of tick those boxes for people. I like bags that look sophisticated and have great function and this one does not disappoint that way. I would not say this is a lightweight bag, it's not one you can just throw on your bag back and you won't even notice. You will notice it a bit but that's it really depends on how you pack it up because it is a vegan leather bag right so it has a little bit of weight but I would not say that it's as heavy as a fawn design bag because I have owned those before and those hurt my back. This does not hurt my back because of the way the backpack straps are how they're closer together at the back and they have that memory foam. So there you go guys, so there's my rundown, my packing, my review, my thoughts on the Grey Fox Company nappy bag. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them below, I'd be happy to address those. Have a great night everyone, see you later, bye.